is up everybody it is guy smiley here and uh, we're at barnes and noble right now and we're going to be getting an advent calendar today and i'm also going to get some uh, harry potter stuff because they have over here if you look at the sign they have these harry potter figures free today it's a free pack it's that uh, set of four minifigures so i'm trying to decide which set i should get um, because I'm gonna get this, but you have to spend $75, so I might get this, but I'm not sure if I should just get if I should get this, or I should just like get a bunch of these, because there's a lot that I still need to find in this series that I don't have. So I'm gonna look for a few that I know I want to get, and then I'll uh, let you guys know. All right, guys, so I found $36 worth of minifigures here, which is a lot. <laughs> We're going to get this and these so we can get the free minifigures there. Okay, guys, so we need to change our plans. Um, this advent calendar is actually 25% off today, so it's $30. So I actually need to buy something else, and I'm either going to get this or this. But I don't know which one I should get. I'm thinking I might get this one because I kind of want to get these uh, new stormtroopers here. They're pretty cool looking, but I'm not sure yet, so I still gotta decide. All right, guys, we are back from Barnes and Noble, and we got some really cool stuff there. We went there on Black Friday because um, that's actually the only store I went to on Black Friday. I didn't need to go anywhere else because there wasn't much that I wanted to buy in stores on Black Friday uh, in terms of Lego stuff. But I did want to get this advent calendar, and since Barnes & Noble was having a promotion where if you spent $75, you get the this like exclusive Harry Potter minifigures pack, which is uh, has been pretty hyped up the past couple weeks, and we'll take a, take a look at that in a second, because I have it right there in the bag. Uh, but first off, we have the advent calendar here. Now, this was actually 25% off at Barnes & Noble, which was really good because I thought it was, it's usually $40, so that's 25% off. Um, Lego, Lego on their website, the Lego shop, they had it for $33 about on Black Friday, so that's, so that's even cheaper than Lego had it on their own website, which is very unusual for Barnes & Noble to have like a good deal on something, because usually, usually they just sell stuff at full price there. Uh, but I don't, I don't know if that was a special for Black Friday. I don't think it was. I'm pretty sure that it was, they're just trying to blow these out because it's getting pretty close to December now. And uh, once December 1st hits, nobody's really going to want to buy an advent calendar because this is for, it's for December. So they're trying to blow them out before Christmas starts, I think. So if you guys want to get an advent calendar, then you probably should go and get it at Barnes & Noble because they have it for $30. Uh, just take it to the register first because they did not have it marked anywhere. I, I didn't know it was $30 until I went to the register and they rang it up and I was like, oh, wow, <laughs> I'll have to go get some more stuff if I want to meet the $75 mark to get the free minifigures. So I had to walk back and get some more stuff to get over $75. So that was pretty cool. Um, I was looking at this. This is, looks really weird. I thought it was like an error, but it's actually just wrapping paper over the lightsaber, which looks pretty cool. Yeah, I'll be opening this, uh, of course, starting December 1st, because it's an advent calendar. That's what you're supposed to do with them. Not supposed to open them all right now. That would be really bad. <laughs> so now we have this here. We have... This is a set that I wanted. Actually, it's a battle pack from Star Wars, the Han Solo movie. Um, I, <laughs> I don't know. I think, what is the movie called? I forgot what it was called. It's like, oh, Solo. Solo, a Star Wars story. <laughs> Not Star Wars, the Han Solo movie. And uh, inside we have, of course, a lot of, a lot of these little dots. Because these battle packs come with so many little dots, I don't know what to do with them. And these kind of guns, they're just kind of useless. But this is a really cool speeder, actually. This battle pack, I was wanting to get it because, number one, it has these really cool stormtroopers here that look really cool they have some really cool bodies here that would be good for uh some some like fig barfs of uh, if i want to do some combos of some like modern military guys for like a pmc or a futuristic military from a country and then this uh this speeder bike is a really interesting design because it's like 
it's like triangle shaped, which is something they haven't really done. I haven't really seen anything like it that uh, LEGO has done recently. So that's really cool there. And then uh, I also got a ton of these Harry Potter minifigures. Let me clean off this area first, and then I'll be, I'll be right back. And then I'll show you guys the minifigures that I got right down there. All right, so now the area is clear, so you guys won't have to look at all the ugliness of all the stuff that was uh, the half-covered uh, photo tent. So we got Mad-Eye Moody. We got Luna Lovegood. We got Cho Chang, I think is her name, from the movie. She was the person who kind of like betrayed Harry, but not really because Snape made her take that stuff that made her tell her all the secrets of where the Room of Requirement was in the Order of the Phoenix, I think it was. And I just sounded like a total Harry Potter nerd. <laughs> so like, and this was this person where they had the all of the things happen in the Order of the Phoenix and they had all this thing. And I also got Malfoy. And they have, I, we got uh, Marcus Flint, I believe is his name. We got Cedric Diggory, the poor kid who was killed by Voldemort in the Goblet of Fire. Really quickly, didn't even get a chance. Didn't even get a chance to get a spell off. That was that was kind of that was a really sad. That was really hard to watch in that that movie. And then we got one guy from Fantastic Beasts, which I thought was actually I actually got this one wrong. This is the first time I've gotten a feeling of a mini, the feeling of a minifigure wrong. Because I thought that it was going to be Newt Scamander, because I thought Newt Scamander was the only guy that came with a briefcase. But it turns out Kowalski, Ko Jacob Kowalski, comes with one as well. And he has all these little uh, pastries inside his briefcase, which is pretty cool. I, was, I don't have him yet anyways, so that was a really cool figure to get. And then last but not least, we got Professor Flitwick there at the very end. So these are all really cool figures. Uh, I actually have all of the, the minifigures from the Harry Potter movie now, except for the three of these at the top. I don't have Harry, I don't have Hermione, and I don't have Ron yet. Those are kind of the ones I'm not really that excited for because they're just the three people that we've already gotten before in many different forms. But I will get them just for completion's sake because I have everybody else. Um, that I got on uh, different days. I still don't have some from this side, though. I don't have this one, this one, this one, or this one. I have this one and that one. So I still have a couple to get from that series before I have a, a complete series, um, which will I'll just have to feel a lot to try to find those specific ones I'm looking for. But uh, so yeah, these are really cool. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to talk about every one. But I really like what they have done with the cloth parts on these figures. Like, like he has some cloth, like, coattails on there for his thing. And his bow tie looks really cool. This is the most accurate version of Professor Flitwick, I think, that they've made so far. And definitely the most accurate version of Luna Lovegood as well. The Quibbler is so, so nicely printed. It just looks really good. The printing on that, the cloth skirt there, and uh, Cho Chang also comes with a cloth skirt as well. really like what they've done with the cloth parts on all of these figures. Then the cape on Malfoy is the new kind of cloth. It's like kind of that spongy fabric. It's really cool. And he does have the new snitch. This is the first time I've actually seen the new snitch piece, which is, it looks really nice. Very accurate to the one in the movie. And Cedric Diggory Cho Chang also, of course, she's very one of the most coveted figures of the series because she comes with a Ravenclaw torso, which so we can now have figures from the Ravenclaw house. So we now have all four houses of all four houses um kind of outfits are represented in the Lego versions now. And then we have Cedric Diggory, who I didn't know had this printing on the side of his legs, which is really cool. I might actually get some more of these figures just for this these legs here because they're really cool. I like how they have the stripes on the side. That looks really awesome. And he comes with the Triwizard Cup. The Triwizard Cup that was actually a port key in the movie. So now I just need to get the uh, Harry Potter figure that has this, this outfit on it from the Graveyard Duel set. Then I will have Cedric and Harry in their Triwizard Tournament outfits. So yeah, there are those figures. 
You can just push those off to the side. And last but not least, we have the minifigure pack, which is, of course, why all of you clicked on this video, probably. I don't think I'm going to open it, because I don't, I just don't really want to open it right now. You can see the figures pretty well from in here. I don't think I'm going to open it anytime soon, if not ever, because it's just really cool to have it sealed. And I don't really need, I, don't, I might, I don't think I'm going to be using any of these figures in any builds. Um anytime soon, so that's uh, it for that. I'm not going to open it on camera. <laughs> Maybe I should. No, I, I'm actually not. Because I don't really want... I don't want to break the seal of this thing. This thing is really cool. I'll probably just uh, put it on, the, on my shelf somewhere next to the Hogwarts castle that I have. So that's it for all the stuff that I got on Black Friday at Barnes & Noble. We got 10% off all of this purchase, too. So I pretty much got one of these figures for free. Because we got 10% off everything, plus 25% off on the advent calendar. So if you guys are looking, for, if you guys are looking for an advent calendar, do go check out Barnes and Noble because I think that they are probably still doing that. Because I don't think it was a Black Friday special. I think they're just trying to get rid of them because December is coming up really fast. In about a week, it'll be December already. So that's uh, Christmas is coming up. Um, anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, leave a comment down below if you guys got anything cool on Black Friday. Or if Did you guys get this set as well? Because I know that there's been a lot of hype around this, this minifigure pack. And I will uh, reply to them. And don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And I will see you guys next time.